I've been on the computer now for a couple of hours editing video and I realized I'm missing a beautiful day. So I came out into the garden. I have uh, the water running on some of the pepper plants right now. I wanted to check all the seeds that I put down and I noticed some baby carrots coming up. Let me show those to you. You gotta get way down here to see them. You see the baby little plants like this one back here? Those are baby carrots. Now part of my concern with this garden this year was that I have all this leaf mulch and I pushed it aside but I knew over time especially with the cats and you know if the chickens or anyone gets in here they would be scratched which is why I put this wire in here. Already you can see some of those leaves falling down in here so I'm afraid some of the carrots some of the baby seeds are going to be covered and not be able to come up but it looks like quite a few of them have already started. That is very exciting. Look at these. Those got a little close together there. There's some Jenga food on my pepper plant. I'm going to see if I can get him. Got him. Grasshoppers that eat my garden volunteer to meet Jenga. I love this basil. I mean, it's just beautiful. The Thai basil is beautiful. But it also attracts the bees, and they love it as well. And I like to imagine that all the bees that are attracted to my garden are my bees. These are my two pomegranate trees that I recently repotted and also pruned way back because they were getting very tall and lanky. I took all the prunings and I put here hoping to get some of them to start so I can have more trees. We'll see how that works. I was a little concerned that my my trees would be in shock because I transplanted them, pruned them, and set them out here where they're going to get more sunlight. One way to know whether your tree is still alive is that you take your thumbnail and you just do a little scratch test. And you peel that back, you see that green? That green indicates that there's still lots of life left in this plant. So all these buds, in fact you can see a little green coming out on that bud right there. Hopefully. What I expect to happen is that this tree is going to recover just fine and I'm going to get a lot of side shoots coming off this and I'll be able to plant this next spring out on the farm somewhere. The round garden is growing beautiful sweet potato flowers. Those vines are doing pretty well. I'm excited. I might get a few sweet potatoes out of this. I didn't intend for this to be my sweet potato garden this year but the the tubers that were left over uh, in the soil produced some vines that I got some cuttings from and now uh, it looks like I'll probably actually get a harvest out of that. The rest of this is sunchokes. All of these are the sunchokes that came up in the spring then they died back and now I'm getting new sunchokes. And my bathtub garden is growing buckets. Remember that green stock vertical growing system that was in my garden? I bet you thought I forgot about it. Well, I didn't forget about it, and I'm not actually setting it up right now. I'm just putting it here to see how it looks and to give you an idea what I might be doing with it. Hello, fishies. Nobody's home to tell me I can't have coffee ice cream with pears. Yummy. All right, another several hours of video editing, and I figure I should better come outside and make sure the animals are all good and taken care of. I had to put the tortoise out. They have to get out and graze. All the dogs are taking time to do their duties, too. Maggie's pretty sweaty. I was going to rinse her off, but she didn't want to get close to the hose for me. Right, Maggie? 
Look at all that sweat. You guys ready to go back inside? It's hot out here. Door's over here. Gotta feed the dogs. Normally we put pumpkin in there as well as the kibble and rice and maybe a little cottage cheese or oil or something. But I don't find any pumpkin. The day goes pretty fast. Now it's time to go and do the morning chicken duties in reverse and call them the evening chicken duties. Yeah, I really should be putting these girls away first because they will follow me around because I have this scoop and do that. All right, girls, you ready to go to bed? Whoop, chick, 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 chick. There you go. Come on, all of you. Come on, girls. Woo, chick, chick, chick. Woo, chick, 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 chick. I'm coming. Come on. Hey, big red. Thanks for coming in on your own, Maggie. That was nice of you. This is what happens when you put food on the stove and then go do chicken duties. That's hot, buddy. Don't touch that. Hope I didn't ruin mama's pan. <coughs> I guess I'll have to eat more ice cream and pears. Mm -hmm. 